Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today we're gonna to find out the answer to the age old question. Can these M1 Macs run Crisis? You can see they can. I've got it on an Intel Mac, I've got it on an M1 Mac, and I have a fresh, brand spanking, untouched Mac to install it from scratch to show you guys exactly how to set it up yourself. Now, the good thing about this method is that it allows you to install other Windows apps and games, not just Crisis. So stay tuned for that. I'll be doing a complete fresh install on this MacBook Pro to show you how good it is. Also, it works on a Mac Mini, all that kind of stuff. But first, we need to find out who is gonna destroy Crisis? How well does Crisis run on the M1 Mac? And uh, 16 inch versus MacBook Air, I can already tell a difference. One, one guy's fan. Fan noise city is happening already on a 16 inch. Of course, there's no fans on the MacBook Air. Seems to be running. All right, let's do a new game. Easy, easy mode, easy mode. Now, of course, this is on the basic graphics. Look at that on the screen. The cutscene is working. The sound is working. As you can see, the MacBook Air seems to be loading level slightly slower than the 16 incher. The 16 incher did start behind, but the MacBook Air is a bit more sluggish. Intel x86 natively emulating Windows, as well as ARM emulating x86 emulating Windows. Three layers of abstraction, two layer, layers of abstraction here. Look how slow this MacBook Air is compared to the 16 incher. 16 inches already started the next segment. And this is actually in-game graphics right there being rendered on the screen. The, the, the air is still uh, loading in progress. We're gonna see how well it does on the Pro. But as you can see, it's in slow city on the MacBook Air. Look how smooth the, smooth the graphics is on the 16 inch. The 16 inch, mm. that, that is smooth. That is smooth as silk. The air is about to launch. Do you reckon the air would have good quality graphics? Will it be smooth? Can it run Crisis well? About to find out, press any key to continue. Any key has been pressed. There you go, the 13 incher has got the screen. All right, I just restarted the level. The 16 incher handled it well. The 13 incher, the M1 chip, emulation on emulation on emulation. It was a bit too much for it to handle. However, it is doing something on the screen. The menu screen has appeared and we're back. It's just generally a lot more sluggish on the air and this is something that I've noticed whenever I'm trying to emulate any x86 application. Photoshop, Android Studio, Crisis, it's just a lot, lot slower. But anything on the graphics, the graphics, because it's all using the same Metal API and the Metal API is just telling the graphics cards what to do, that stuff runs completely fine and well. It's just the CPU stuff having to emulate x86 via the arm it always slows things down as you can as you can as you saw the restarting all that stuff was a lot slower but now that it's up and running look at that i am smoothly playing crisis on this m1 macbook air pretty sick all right we're now in the game and both are running side by side the 16 inch macbook pro is a lot smoother but look at this for some reason my 16 incher on Catalina is refusing to follow my commands. W, S, A, D, I can move around on the 13 incher, but on the 16 incher, it's just ignoring me. So, it's official, the M1 Max emulating x86, emulating Windows is handling crisis better than my 16 incher. There's probably a way to fix this. It's probably just a config file I need to fix. But next up, do you think the 13 inch MacBook Pro will run any better? Stay tuned to find out. <sighs> I thought this would be easy. Anyway, I'm trying it out for the fourth time. Configuration test run. All right, I'm not sure what's going on. So this is, uh, this is interesting. The M1 MacBook Air can run Crisis. I've been playing it for almost an hour now, trying to get it working on the Pro. And the M1 MacBook Pro can't run Crisis. It just doesn't want to load. I tried my best. The method does work on my 16 incher. It does work on the Air. I couldn't get it running on the Pro. Whether it's something I installed or it's something to do with the drivers, I know when I launch Chrome and I go on YouTube, the MacBook Pro allows me 
to go up to 8K of YouTube playback, whereas the MacBook Air only allows me to go 4K. So maybe there's a sort of limitation that the Air that's put in place, which allows Crisis to work, and the unlimited MacBook Pro refuses to get it working. If you guys figure out on how to get it working, let me know in the comment section below. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it work on the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Hope you guys found this uh, video useful on how to struggle in the world of getting Windows apps to work on your Mac, especially the M1 Max. It does work. Look at it right here. I'm playing Crisis. This is not, it's a bit, okay, it's a bit slow. This is not a cloud-based game. This is running natively on macOS. I'll launch it from scratch to show you that I'm not, I'm not, not kidding you. Anyway, hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. It's a blank screen now. It did work. It, it did actually work. All right, Crisis would like to access files in your documents folder. Okay, that's why it had issues. Cross over hosted application. And it's working now. Perfect. So it's working. It was just asking for permission. <laughs> Calamity.